Autism is becoming increasingly more prevalent in today's learning environment than ever before. First off, what is autism? Autism carries no clear definition because of a growing amount of input derived by teachers in the learning environment. I found the most notable definition to come from medical news today in that it states autism is a complex developmental disorder that usually appears in the first three years of a person's life. The key word is complex, as autism is a wide spectrum disorder. This means that if two people have autism, they won't exhibit the exact same symptoms. Doctors still do not know why autism appears, but they believe it has something to do with genetic and environmental factors. There's still no test to identify if a child has autism, but it's assumed through observation of communication and behavior. The characteristics that are affected by autism are social skills, empathy, physical contact, environmental changes, and speech. Generally, an autistic person does not like to be placed in a crowded area, and if done so, will remove themselves. Cognitive abilities are high, yet it's relaying the information that presents the most difficulty. Empathy is another area where an autistic person will struggle with, in that they have a difficult time comprehending feelings, yet with constant reminders, they can grow in this capacity. Physical contact is only accepted if it comes from a familiar and planned source. This goes along with an environmental change. An autistic person likes to have stability in their life and routine, and if a change was going to be made, it needs to be done gradually. Lastly, speech is different, as an autistic person's speech is much more formal. Teaching a student with autism can be extremely challenging. However, with the correct modifications, he or she can thrive in any learning environment. I know this from my student teaching experience where I had an autistic learner. I didn't want to isolate this student, so I brought him to the front of the room where I could guide him during instruction. During the lesson, I would give him manuscripts with pictures on it because I realized he was more of a visual learner as opposed to auditory. From an FFA standpoint, I just wanted to get him involved. So I gave him simple tasks to complete and then extrinsic rewards for doing them. I suggested for an SAE program that he raise livestock. Not only would this benefit him from, for being involved, but at the same time would serve as therapy from a behavior and emotional standpoint.